Hi, my name is Kays and welcome to Right Brain Tutorials Addendum. A while back, I made a tutorial video to show you how to bring your camera moves or null objects from Houdini into Adobe After Effects using this really cool plugin called Houdini 2AE. Uh, you could download this plugin for free at the Orbolt online store and it worked really, really well. However, as some of you pointed out, this plugin no longer works in Houdini 18, which prompted me to create two new tutorials to do the same thing, uh, one using Blender and the other one using Cinema 4D. Uh, both of those methods work just fine, but they're not as simple and elegant as using the Houdini 2 AE plugin. Now, lucky for us, a user on the side effects forums by the name of Zacharin came up with a fix to the plugin that allows it to work in Houdini 18, and I wanted to show it to you guys because I still think this is the easiest way to get that information into After Effects. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are in Houdini and I have a very simple scene, just a very simple camera move that dives into the spring and I have a null right there at the bottom that I want to bring into After Effects as well. So I want to bring my camera move and a null. So uh, if we instantiate the Houdini 2 AE plug-in and click on this button, now we get an error, unfortunately, which is telling us that the plug-in is no longer working with Houdini 18. So let's fix it. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see this type properties. So we're going to click on that guy and this is going to bring up this other window that has a bunch of really complicated stuff. And what we want to do is we want to navigate to the tab that says scripts. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that this Houdini 2AE is highlighted. So we're going to click on it and that's going to bring up this particular script. Now comes the most difficult part. We need to find lines 470 through 473 and make a small change to them. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to take a look at this uh, line number right here and we're just going to start scrolling down and every once in a while just click the cursor on it. Okay, line 172, we're not there yet. Let's go a little bit further down. Click somewhere here. Line 328, not quite there. 414, we're getting close. Uh, 474, okay, we are basically there. So I'm just going to scroll a little bit further up. Okay, so the lines that we're going to want to change are going to be these four lines right here, okay? So this is line 470, 471, 472, and 473. And all we're going to do is we're going to disable them by basically adding a pound sign in front of them. So let's start with line 470, add a pound sign, put a space in it, go to line 471, pound, space, line 472, pound, space and finally line 473 pound and a space and that is it that's all we need to do and what we want to do now is we want to accept and it's going to ask us if we want to unlock this node and save it so i'm going to click on that guy and now it unlocked the node and saved it we that was the hard part all right so let's see if it worked i'm going to bring up the Houdini 2AE and now I'm going to click on this button and look at that. This is exactly what we want to see. So we got like our cool little panel here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm highlighting my uh, camera. I'm just going to say this is the camera node that I want to use. I'm going to highlight the null. I'm going to say this is the object node that I want to use. Uh, I'm going to say frame range 1 to 240. That's correct. I'm going to select the file location. For now, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I'm just going to call it Houdini uh, 2 AE test. And let's click save. And then I'm just going to click on export. And it says exported successfully. So let's dive into After Effects and see if it actually worked. So here we are in After Effects. We're going to go under File Menu, under Scripts, and we're going to say Run Script File. And I'm going to point it to the JSX file that we generated in Houdini. I'm going to click Open. It's going to do a little bit of thinking. And here we have our composition. And our composition came in with our camera move, as well as two nulls. One, a 2D version, which we don't really need, and one is our 3D null which is the one that we're going to want to use when we add additional things like flares and particles or whatever else we want to. So, woohoo! Thank you, Zachary. And the plugin works again. Oh my God, this is so awesome. 
uh, as I said, like the other two methods using Blender and using Cinema 4D can work, but this is by far the easiest way that you can bring your camera or your nulls from Houdini into Adobe After Effects. Anyway, if you were a little bit confused following along with the video, I'm gonna make sure to post in the description below all the changes that we had to make and the instruction on how to do so, so you'll be able to do it. And uh, if you liked it, please click the like button. And if you haven't yet, please, Subscribe to this channel and until next time, my name is Case, see you soon.